very carefully. Uh, so pro it probably makes sense to do more uh, gen more uh, legacy OpenGL rather than the uh, newer stuff with all the shaders and that, mostly because Minecraft doesn't have a lot of... <laughs> well, from my understanding, Minecraft doesn't have a lot of the things that make shaders actually that usable. Yeah. You, Minecraft still uses LVJGL um, 2.9 and do their custom builds because they don't want to use uh, to upgrade to 3.0 because they would have to rewrite the great majority of the rendering, but it would bring so much better performance. Also, uh, is that readable? Okay, fun thing about, um, yeah, fun thing about fragment shaders. No, sorry, fun thing about shaders. Fragment shaders are not the only uh, shaders. In fact, if you use your vertex shaders properly, you can use sh you can make shaders do, thing um, uh, do things faster or something like that. Yeah, oh, hang on, I never use my secret event. Let me... Uh, fuck it. Yeah, let's just... Uh... I thought I'd put something there. Um, good, I still have the code bible there. So did that NBT error thing get resolved? I've got it at the minute. <laughs> yeah, that's me, I'm pretty That's better. So yeah, uh, if you guys want me to um, cover general OpenGL stuff, I can do that right now. Um, just yeah, preferably the more specific you get, the more I can elaborate on a point. If you have nothing to elaborate, then there's something. Then there's a few things I could probably point out right now. There's a lovely function called um, is enabled. Um, Please, if you use blending, please use that <laughs> or something. I don't know. I, I don't know much about how um, Minecraft itself actually uh, does things. I, I, actually, yeah, please just ask questions because I don't really know much about what the hell I'm doing right now. Hmm. Uh, do you guys want to know how to do FBOs properly? Okay, VBOs. So, start off with I'll demonstrate. Uh, I'm gonna use now. I'll use geo quads for now. Uh, you've probably seen co code that looks like this. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, stuff that I won't bother actually typing them properly. Oh wait, that's right. I haven't used um, GL quads in quite a while now, so... Sorry, my internet just decided to implode. I'm back now. Welcome back. So are we still building a tomato black hole? I have no right. idea. Where some of us are in the um, panel booth. But yeah, so that's you've probably seen that. Um, I'll show you what the vertex array version looks like. It's you sort of. Ah. So firstly, you set up your vertex array somehow. You can actually just... And by the way, if this looks weird, I'm basically just writing C. I don't know how yeah. to stop in Java. I figured so.
I should probably mark this as a separate. Hmm. Wait, hang on, we're not doing VBOs just yet. <laughs> and oh that's right, I need to pull out the man pages because um I can never remember the arguments for any like the vertex pointer, colour pointer things. I they're all if I have it right, normal pointer doesn't have a size. Um I think there's another one that doesn't have a type. Well, I think there's one that that uh, determines whether it's no, normalized not. or not. Oh sorry. I'm not on the IRC and I'm also my internet just imploded. Ah, right. Wow. Uh uh, wait, what was it? Oh, yeah, vertex pointer. So the first thing is the size. So it's a three. It's three D. So you use three uh, type uh, geo float. This just makes stuff easier. And for some reason. Uh, floats do tend to be faster. I don't know why. It, like you have a small end, hmm. like a GL shorts. It still, for some reason, I, I think it, for some reason it is just still faster. Stride. Um, you can see it to zero. We can see it to the number of bytes uh, of for each entry. Uh, I prefer to set to the number of bytes per entry. And then the pointer. Now that things get kind of fun when you start using uh, when you start using VBOs because instead of having a pointer to the thing, you have a pointer relative to zero. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Okay, that doesn't all fit on screen. What? <coughs> right, hang on. The only thing that doesn't fit... Oh, hang on. Uh, uh, let's just get rid of the white space, and then the only thing that doesn't fit is the uh, semicolon that you... Yeah, we go. See there ya. you do. Oh my, it's already nine. Hmm, didn't expect that. Probably add a couple pixels to the lights it's on the act if you wanted to. Uh, then you do geo draw. Did they run out of power? Was it? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm using electromagnets outside. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's see. You always do. Always do geo enable client state. Always do geo disable oh, client state. Right. I forgot the mic was still Afterwards. on. And GL draw arrays, you give the first argument the type, the second argument is the first vertex you use, and the third argument is the count. And so the codes up this may look like more code, so to speak, but basically you've got the, the GL vertex, GL Whoa. Well the GL vertex stuff, you're ultimately shoving it into that VA thing sort of bit and then Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think once you have several of these, it's it sort of starts to pay off in terms of the amount of code you have to write. If you wanted to see something absolutely hideous, try doing a triangle in Vulcan. That is, hmm. you basically had about a thousand lines just for a triangle. What? Um, but yeah, so vertex arrays. The first part is your setup. This, I think I'll get rid of this just because if you're asking about OpenGL, you've probably already seen that. Um, okay, so let's say we want to add some color. I can't be bothered with spaces right now. <laughs> and a bit of yellow for the other po uh, for the other points. Um, I want to put some arrows on. This.
there's an error. Now I think for color pointer I, it's the same. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I keep I accidentally talk over people a lot. It's a problem I have. Okay. Yeah, I probably have that problem too. That's probably why we end up talking at the same time. I think cal so according to the man page, color pointer seems to syntax. Okay, quick question. Uh, are you familiar? All right. Uh, who in the audience actually knows the syntax? Oh, no, who actually understands uh, pointers in C? Because uh, pointer syntax in C isn't that hard. Yeah, it just it just takes a while to get your head around. Should I just call you CD? Mr. CD, um, can we get an electromagnet to pull the arrows up too? Is there a way we could do that? So that we, they don't fall down quite so much? Or are they attracted to the exact center? But like, could we get them oh, to Oh, I can quickly chase that. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not trying to hit anyone. Okay, uh, sorry. So yeah, that's how you do it. It's and and... Oddly enough, once you reach that point, it sort of takes up fewer lines. Now, in order to do VBOs, there's a bit more setup. Okay. Uh, S, X, W, uh, outside the panel room. So, this is sort of a... Uh, OpenGL does like using pointers after 1.0. Uh, prior to 1.0, you don't really get much. This is a rather hackish way that, that the syntax is used, but it works. I generally don't really question it. Hmm. Uh, let me just... Oh, GL array buffer. So, okay, so we're moving from vertex arrays to VBOs. And what, like, I'm not even going to cover display lists. Don't, don't use display lists, please. Just use VBOs. Um, so, what's it? Um, and then it's GL buffer data. There are other ways to load things, and there's GL map memory and stuff like that, but GL buffer data is the easy way. And it's also not available on Vulkan, but it's available in GL3, so we'll might as well mm -hmm. use it. I generally have a rule with a uh, Vulkan. Um, are, you, are you really try? It's like, are you really... Well, the general rule is um, if your load is not heavily... Um, if you're not making a lot of OpenGL calls, you should just use OpenGL. Yeah. Okay, so GL buffer data. Um, I'll just paste this link into Bumble. That's probably the link you want. Um, target size data usage. So size is um. So, does anybody want to see some really stupid stuff outside the panel room? Because we're using electromagnets and error. Do um, I really want to see this? <laughs> probably. It's pretty excellent. Yeah, I'll quickly uh, whip up. Uh, quickly finish off of this and then. Sorry if I'm stealing your audience. Where are uh, you? Oh, there. Oh, God. Um, I'll just finish fuck? typing this up and then I'll explain it uh, once I've had a look at the arrows outside. So the really powerful electromagnetic magnets get pretty stupid pretty quickly, it seems. I mean, this is in my mod. I have never really used it before. I don't really know if you can make this stupider, but it's pretty fun to mess with. OK. 
can you get a tomato into an armpit? <laughs> um, you can get the tomatoes to go around. So, like, if you get a... I accept I'm lagging. Um, this button does tomatoes, but they don't go very high. Wow. The problem, the problem is I'm lagging, so I don't know if I stopped lagging. I bet if the arrows stopped being here, because earlier I wasn't lagging when the arrows weren't here. But, yeah, wait, I can probably run over the arrows and collect most of them. Okay, I'll, quick, I'll quickly have a look at the, um, quickly have a look at the arrows. And we should all just have a look at them, and then we can head back to this. Oh, that hit someone. Wow. Oh. <laughs> so, Kenny, uh, are you enjoying the hallucination right now? Oh, thanks now for that. Now use potion effects of hallucination. Oh. Am I in your Where the hell did all those arrows come from? That is thing over here. Oh, God. Oh, this is nuts. Yeah, if you're in survival, I would suggest not standing near it. <laughs> Sorry, man. Wow. Ow. Two snowballs, then. <laughs> kind of stood in front of it on purpose. But the problem is, is uh, yeah. snowballs might work. Um, if somebody wants to load up these insane dispensers with snowballs, that would be excellent. Pro tip, if you uh, control click, uh, control pick block a filled dispenser, it will keep its inventory when you place it down. Wait, control and then middle click to... Yeah. Does it just fill it? <clears throat> no, if you control middle click a dispenser that's filled, it will keep its content. I now okay. have when you place the next one. Five or six stacks ah. of arrows. That's awesome. I can see again. I can What's see this clear. about bows not being enabled outside? That seems pretty enabled for me. So now we have insane dispensers with snowballs, and now? Okay. Wow. The snowballs move a little differently than the arrows. Yeah. Can't tell if they're faster or slower. Um, splash Did potions? Did you try that? Oh, who's putting them through lava? Did you try splash, splash yeah. potions? Oh. Try. <laughs> oh, wow. Flaming snowballs everywhere. I'll BTM highlights. I'll see if I drop sands. Flaming snowballs for days. Wow. Yeah, sand for days. Uh, <laughs> oh god. GG. Oh, this is going bad. Right? Oh, What's the TV? I was wondering phone. if perhaps somebody would uh, sort out something to get an electromagnet above it so that it, they would just keep going. But I don't know exactly how to use electromagnets, and I don't know if they just don't work if you have multiples of oh, them in try. a close area. No, I mean, like, if we had um, a separate electromagnet that was up here, so that there would also, so it would just kind of be pulled up more, because here, there's a center here, and once they're at the center, all they're going to do is fall. Like, they might get pulled back up a little, like, see, there's a little bit, and I'm sure if you had a big enough electromagnet, that would be true, but if you have a big enough electromagnet, they'll just get sucked straight in immediately, and it won't be very entertaining. So that is quite entertaining, I must say. Um, is there another magnet inside the hall? Splash potions, please. Oh, yeah, anvils. Put anvils around it. Unfortunately, they won't hurt anybody, oh. but... Splash potions. Please. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I'm gonna stand back a bit.
There's anvils never in front of me. break the anvil that's the lowest. Why are there all those diamond anvil? <laughs> oh god. Did someone just get squished by an anvil? Yeah, I did. Wow. I did not die, but it did hurt. We need minecarts too, and we need to get in them. <laughs> yes, <laughs> splash potions will just uh, splash. Since they splash when they collide with anything. Uh, spam splash potions of confusion, or what was it? Hallucination. Hallucination, and if you get near the thing, you just have a bad. Hallucination splash potion with lingering effect. I want to have a stack of those for um, research purposes. <laughs> totally not for the Oh no, the boats are getting compressed. <laughs> On his scribe just comes back, he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Fun thing. He has to deal with it, but this, because on the test server, this is always what this kind of stuff devolves into. <laughs> huh? Oh, Why are they getting pulled over the, here? Um, wait, what? There's another magnet over here, I think. Yeah, there is, inside the panel. Who got rid of the electromagnet? Damn it! I was just about to test minecarts. I have uh, um, another filled capacitor. Um, here we are, and here. I cannot get into that minecart. I guess that's blocked, right? Probably. Why? Either way, it doesn't matter. Why is nice. this electromagnet not functioning? Um, do we need to do something to get it to start working? Or are the boat's just too far away? I think we need. Do we need to make it output more or something? Does it by default not output anything? Yeah. Someone just moved the magnet. Uh, somebody got rid of it, so I just added a new one. Where? Oh, there. Back That's where right. it was. There's one in the hall as well. Thanks for the energy cell. Oh, that's um, the problem. Get rid of the one in the wall, damn it! No, the this one just stopped working. I don't know how to make it work in the first place. Um. Oh no, CD, the one guy who knows left. Damn. CD, how do Someone we make this put work? Someone down this energy cell. So I guess that's key to make it work. CD, you can talk in mumble or, or like type in mumble or something. I don't know. Uh, take it. Uh, oh, sorry. Good. We have we do have someone cleaning shit out. That's good. Thank you for doing what we need to do, but aren't. I think it was like, below it. Really so I can cause a mess, but I can't fix it. Alexa, put the thing below it, maybe. All right, so this is basically sort of become the sling magnet yeah, that everyone blew <laughs> fish. Uh, shit. Uh, let me know when you want. Let me know when someone wants me to cover this. Oh, um, finish covering BBOs because I've basically just got all the code that it's necessary. Did we fix it or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it works again. Uh, this one. <laughs> that's Sweet. the problem. It was. Uh, you have to put. Uh, octa cell, octa, octa cell storage unit below it. That was what fixed it. So basically, you need to power it. We need bats. What was the explosion? Ah, oh, thanks. Oh. I guess it's a listenation. Ow! That hurt my ears. Just like 12 anvils falling next to me. Oh, did somebody turn oh, it off? Because now I'm spawning bats and they're probably going to get everywhere. Not... Incoming, um... Oh, they're getting sucked to the other one, never mind. Yeah, does the power just drain really quickly on this one or something? Or what? It's taking the bats as well? 
I guess there's bad. no way to make a creative power source of that side. Oh well, yeah, there was also... There might have also been a really high power solar panel directly next to this uh, thing. Does somebody want to try and do that, maybe? <laughs> Again, like, unascribed is going to come back and be like, what are you doing? Um, I think yeah. someone had a solar panel of that mod. I think it needs their own mod's uh, technology. I'll talk us out of it if it yeah. happens, okay? Okay, got it. We're fine. <laughs> There's not bats everywhere and weird stuff going on here or anything. This I has got to be how BGM also... always goes, right? So, uh, what happened to the uh, panel that was going on? Uh, was so there a panel? Need to finish up with the VBO shit and then um, let you... Um, and then you can we'll sort of mess around for a little bit more and then uh, cover some more things. Yeah, there is. Oh, sweet. It's just that we've, Sorry if we've I interrupted the panel just now. Yeah, we've we've just taken a break in order to sling, um, in order to like play around with a magnet. Let's see how well the mines are. It's worth it. We need fish mines. <sighs> oh, sorry, people in survival, but um, fish mines are wonderful. <laughs> well, it seems for fine. Science. I don't have any side effects except dying. Ooh, chickens slow fall, so I bet they'll be pretty stationary. Uh, well, once they are stuck, uh, they are there just hovering next to it. So you Sweet. Can so what if we get to... two of them? Can we get the chickens to levitate between them? Oh god. <laughs> or will they get stuck on one or the other? <laughs> oh no. Well, what's the question if if you have multiples of those in different orientations, what happens? It would be more funny if players get also attracted by this. Yeah, yeah I was already tested that with that later. Well, it doesn't, right? Or does it? Oh, I think. I wonder if my stream program still behaves itself if uh, there's no audio. Can you not order them horizontally? No, but if we paired them, would it get so like it would get caught between them? I hope so. Because that would be hilarious, because then we could suspend things midair. We need a nuke just to levitate in place. Hmm. Explode. Oh god. Yeah. Well, it would explode. It's the right? only way to get rid of it. Wouldn't what it just explode? exploded? It was an explosive arrow. Oh. It's like you can shoot around Things are getting now. dangerous here. Too dangerous. Uh, uh, so uh, what uh. are these chicken items? You guys are dangerous. <laughs> no. I wouldn't put down any TNT because is there still one in there? Because it would get attracted to the wall and if we had enough it would probably blow it up and then get everywhere in the panel room. <laughs> TNT is ill-advised. Why does it even TNT? blow stuff up, or does it? Yeah, just... it does. Oh, yeah. There's the fact TNT, don't use TNT. TNT. But the explosive arrows don't, for some for some then reason. Then use blow. explosive arrows, not TNT. <laughs> wow. I think there's fake TNT. That's one of the an orbit. Fake TNT work. Can you not put them horizontally, or is it just rendering? I this saw some put horizontally, so... Maybe you this is great. <laughs> there's other look at the arrows. <laughs> I know the server is lagging because there's flying squids. <laughs> hmm. 
I think there's flying squids for other reasons than cyber lag, but it's a problem anyway. <laughs> Somebody's saying to stop. But we've but only why? just begun. <laughs> ah, wicky bastard. It's confirmed. Flying squids reduce lag. It's actually the reason it happens uh, yeah. when you're on a server and it's the squids start flying when it lags. It's not because they just keep going. You know. It's it's, actually, it's like sweating, like how humans sweat to produce heat. <laughs> it's because the server is causing squids to fly to try and reduce lag as a server to save itself. <laughs> no making matters. I think I will sign off for today. The server is legitimately See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. See ya. Uh, see you there. Uh, I could possibly do a proper panel like like later on, but yeah. The fuck is wrong with us? Magnets. Those <laughs> how do they work? All, all those anvils are just having a seizure now. <laughs> There's a good white pot quote one second. It is confirmed our ridiculousness is increasing the TP. Hmm. That's better. I've now got a brief, um, now got live streaming in the <laughs> um, room so that everyone who decides to want, they want to stay inside can now watch the, um, Empty shenanigans room. happen. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Hopefully. Uh, I'm going to grab some food, so... This would be a great time to have the break. Okay, so are we getting things to levitate in the middle? We are. Excellent. I think, right? No, no we aren't. Okay, I want something to levitate in the middle. <laughs> nah, they're all we getting attracted to one yet. of them. Wow. Uh oh, uh oh. Why does the TNT not do block damage anymore? Because we're using fake TNT, I believe. Oh. Yeah, don't use real TNT, it's dangerous. Then I'll just get that spike there. Arrow dot effect dot antimatter. That sounds fun. Fish mines, we need more. Breaking What's news Mail the demands line? fish mines. People are dying. Needs more fish mines. Why are people turning white? Why are guardians turning white? What is happening? Spectral arrows. Uh, uh, no, but it's not like a spectral arrow white. It's like a solid white, not just an outline. Interesting. They're all on boats now. Now you turned it off, the fish mines are just gonna get everywhere. They are all attacking. That is what they do for a living. Lightning arrows are way more effective than the explosive arrows. <laughs> are you in survival as SXW? Q's left. We can make it <laughs> even crazier. They're not just fish, they're fish mines. Look at them. They're literally mines with a tail. Like sea Whoa. mines, not like a land mine. Yeah, they're mines.
like explodey ones. You know, like the spiky ones that they had used to have for boats. Well, mostly like boats and submarines, and you have sea mines. That's what they look like. They have the spikes on them, but they also have a tail, so they're fish mines. That's what they are. So much XP. Yeah, and so much lag. Lag is unnecessary evil for this kind of thing. The server is dying right now. Check TPS. We're increasing it, right? I don't have permissions to view the TPS. Uh, how do I check the TPS? I'm operator. S slash TPS, I guess. Nope. Try oh, slash okay. forge TPS. Slash forge space TPS. Yeah, replace the COFH one. 13.8. See, we are increasing it, right? It was 17 earlier. Mm -hmm. We should probably actually stop. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. Big explosion of XP there. <laughs> In all seriousness, donate to him on Patreon. I'm doing it. Yay! Hmm. Not for very much, but I'm a freaking high school student. What do you expect? It's raining fish mine. <laughs> Hallelujah. It would be more amusing if there was fish mines in the in the panel room. And the presenter had to be in survival, and there was just blocks, and they had to dodge behind them as they were presenting. <laughs> wow. I think it would um, make the presentation a little bit more interesting and um, stressful. Hmm. Mostly stressful, because they're already pretty interesting. <laughs> Seriously, the presentations so far have been excellent. Or panels or whatever they are. Yeah. I mean I told everybody Fat was a genius and now you <laughs> now you see. It's a really important update guys. Uh terrible plan is over eating the mac and cheese. <laughs> excellent. Delicious. Hello. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Cheesy coffee. Why is the Minecraft chat like terribly slow compared to IRC? If you like 
I see messages appearing in IRC almost 10 seconds before they appear in Minecraft. Just, I don't know, reasons. What do you mean, the relay slow or the Minecraft no. chat at all? I see when someone types something in Minecraft chat, I see it first in IRC and then in Minecraft. Hughes just started oh, playing dear. Rocket League. What's the TPS now? Now that we're behaving. Uh, it is now 14, which is not much better. I think it might have been <laughs> reduced by other things. Not enough squid. Yeah, because, you know, the flying squids, they reduce TPS. That's only whatever we stop using the flying squids. Not squid enough squid squid exception. <laughs> Fish man out of bounds. Fish mine. I mean, hmm. Minecraft squids don't have beaks. They obviously have teeth. Hmm. So there's something going on here. Maybe this... And also, have you seen how, like, um, stiff their arms are? They must I not actually secretly have them. Dude... <laughs> Uh, what what happened to the uh, stream? Who who cut that? I don't know. For fuck's sake! So you could have just Who's... left it up and then have people watch the magnet outside. Is it possible <laughs> to fly in, uh, fly a looping with an elytra? I don't think so. So is any of the magnet stuff going to get uploaded to YouTube? Because I think YouTube people might want to see it. <laughs> yeah, I got the, the entire thing. I think. Sweet. Or most of it. I have a lot of screenshots of it. <laughs> I want inductive automation now, because I'm sure we could figure out something really clever in our uh, multiplayer modded series, and not series, but I just described just thinking about recording it, but then he kind of decided not to. But like, it's just a server. Because nope, we're planning it's not to do possible to fly loopings. We're planning to do that, but 1.9 after BTM. Why 1.9, not 1.10? Uh, maybe 1.10, I don't know. Well, we're going to do it with mods and whatever is available. Most what mods version. that work on 1.9 also work on 1.10 without recompiling. So, yeah, it'll probably All be right. 1.10, I don't know. Here's an idea. Um, Tell me what booth you want to see me off to. Hey, at least um, there's motion compensation. I still don't know why I can't go up these uh, steps properly, though. Yes, it's live. Yeah, that's cool. I want to show up on Grease Monkey Vision. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, who, who wants why to Why do you have your Goofy scale so small? The what scale so small? The gooey scale. You mean oh, they felt uh, like Because uh, otherwise it's a bit too big. Uh, uh, so, oh, wait, are you guys wanting selfies or some shit like that? Because I can totally do that. Um... What's up? <laughs> Alright, so. Um, what booths do you recommend? Why is there a chicken carcass? Um, the. I mean, the. Um... There are quite a few. Cool like all booths. of them are pretty good. Okay, give me one to start out at. How about the ones in the first floor? The like, yeah. First booth, first mm. floor. Then work your way through. Like, the Abyssal Craft booth is pretty fancy. Okay, um. So, first floor, that's. Uh, have I survived 10 crashes yet? I know oh, I've no. survived 5. This right. is interesting. Uh, uh, hmm. I'm kind of used to this. So, yeah, there's that food card or something. Um, I should probably uh, stash my stuff away for now. But why? Uh, actually, let's shove the tapes in there. That hard drive. Uh, I don't want to lose my ender chest. Uh, yeah, I, I do remember a bug from when the ender chest was... Uh, why? <laughs> You'd all right. Who's 
just a quick question. Who is watching this from the panel room and who's just randomly following me around? I'm spectating you. Like, I went in a spectator room and I'm now spectating you. Why do I have, okay. like, tons of anvils in my inventory? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, hey, I finally got that achievement. Oh, wait. So we... So someone recommended a booth and I forgot what it's called. Abyssal Craft. Abyssal Craft. Uh, okay, what level's that on? There you are. It's the one that you were just staring at. Behind Wait, you. Wait, hang on. Is this There's the... Talc's booth. That's town. The... Yeah, okay. Ah, good, I don't have too much lag. Um, so Tam's over there. That one is, um... Talc. <clears throat> the brick That's one. That's Engine Nation. So this Engine Nation of... Falk is actually a mod secretly. Uh, that's add banners, actually. I should it's make it's... an item in my mod to just get your speed up when using the elytra to fly endlessly. Uh, speaking of speeding up. Yeah. I think I mentioned the Eldritch elytra, which let you cover 2,000 blocks in 15 seconds. Pretty crazy. Which elytra? It's just the, they don't well. exist in this version. They were in a uh, oh. scribe's mod that was never released to the public. <laughs> but you would press space while flying, and you would just keep accelerating. Um, wow. the, of course, they had a very steep power cost with a uh, power system <coughs> you had called the glyphs. Yeah, was, um, oh. So you would need to recharge it, but um, you could accelerate very quickly. But you'd have to recharge it very soon. I could build like an, a laser ah, accelerator that point. would fit my mod. <laughs> yeah, I can't be asked. I'm just mm. going to fly. Uh, so that HF thing, is that? Or is that something else? I don't know what that, this is. No, it, that's Harvest Festival, HF. Ah, right. ah. Another food mod that's probably broken. Uh, There's a Bissell graph. I think oh, yeah, for today it's that's like right. almost 4 o'clock here in the morning. <laughs> you see the little Cthulhu statues outside? That that marks Abyssal Craft. See you All tomorrow, right. guys. See ya. Uh, so see basically, you. looking at... um, It's Lovecraftian mythos stuff. Well, okay. Cthulhu mythos, Lovecraftian stories and whatnot. Dirty specific, do they like fight each other or anything like that? Well, I mean, do you know Lovecraft? Not really. Well, I mean, like, they, some of them, they're most, they don't generally fight, I would say, but, like, you can't really beat them. <laughs> you can't really kill an Elder God, or an Elder, whatever, the, an old one, or what, I don't remember what you call them, but you can't really kill one. You can kill uh, their, like, image, but they can just be a new one f for free, if they Pretty much, uh, they're the horrifying beings. There. Achievements Having there, taken part it. in a Call of Cthulhu game can confirm. Oh, I should probably hit that thing. I'd, pro I'd probably get um, yelled at if I use a uh, splash po if I use the splash potion of leaping and then do the uh, engination thing. <laughs> so we uh, are we watching the remote remote smell vision here? Is that is that the? Yep. How, what's the back end server look like? What do you do to upload the video? Like netcat through a VPS, which then netcats <laughs> to um, uh, or, yeah, basically I have a v VPS and there's two not netcats. Go to the portal. Oh, okay. Let's check it out. It's a it, it's like a fancy thing. There's not too much through there, but it's pretty cool. What was all the OpenGL code we saw earlier about? Ah, oh, that's um, how to. Uh, rough idea on how to do VBOs and stuff. Oh, uh, right click twice, use the skins to upgrade your Necronomicon. We haven't got. Oh, right, so I don't have a Necronomicon, but I've got a um, book of some. Oh, no, sorry, I don't have, I don't have the book, so. I can improvise on that one. Which uh, page is it on? Uh, the one that looks like a Necronomicon. So like a oh, book with oh, a face on it. One. There we go. Now I have one. Uh, For tip, never read a Necronomicon in a Call of Cthulhu game. You will go insane and kill yourself. Wait, what's that? 
Never read a Necronomicon in a Call of Cthulhu gave a Mr. Sanity's high. You will go insane and kill yourself. Tabletop. Okay, how am I supposed to? I've put you need... more skins. You need eight. You need eight. Right click the thing twice. Ah. So we have a slight Ooh. mystery over here. Um, terrible plan is logged in. He left his computer on from his house, and it turns out he's standing like right here, but I can't see him. I have no idea why. Ah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, no, I just walked into the portal. I thought I crashed. Is it, so he's enjoying your mac and cheese. Excellent. Oh, sweet. Someone is enjoying the mac and cheese. That's important. What am I supposed to do with this flippin' Necronomicon thing now? I mean, you can read it, because this isn't Call of Cthulhu. But, uh, I thought there was something like, if you... Wait, what makes you uh, kill yourself if you read oh, it? Oh, I'm talking about a tabletop RPG. Oh. Uh, which oh. is incredible. If you ever have a chance to take part in a Call of Cthulhu game, it's the most amazing thing. Oh, right. I mean, we all died, but I regret absolutely nothing, and it was some of the most fun I've ever had. Um, I have crazy stories in which, yeah, there was a gunfight with some cultists, which could have been avoided, in which half our party died, um, which is interesting. And it's, it spawned an inside joke, which was uh, yelling, I'm an engineer, and macheteing people in the back of the head. Because <laughs> my character uh, yeah. was an engineer, and he macheted people in the back of the head. It was pretty excellent. Um, but yeah, uh, pro tip in Call of Cthulhu, if you do pretty much anything, you die. You cannot win Call of Cthulhu. Oh, you can sweet. only so lose. I've not done tabletop, but that might be one I should try as an introductory. Um, yeah. Is Paranoia a good introductory one or not? I don't know. You have to have a really good GM for um, horror stuff to work, though. So especially Call of Duty. Ah. Okay, so yeah. what next? I don't know. What booths do you recommend next? Uh, they're all pretty great. But I'm just sort of not really uh, paying that much attention. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Let's go into additional banners. Yeah. Banners. It's pretty great. Oh, there's a sign kind of banners. News, actually. Uh, can anyone read this? Uh, who's in the room? Yeah, uh, let's sum that one up. Yeah, um... That's, uh, oh, the sign is added for symmetry. Okay, so that's banners pretty much summed up. There's lots of banners. I, I think basically the booth for a dish... Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly set up a thing. I'd, I'll show you a thing I'd set up somewhere. Uh, I, I need, I need a good idea on what to actually do with it. But um, one of the there's a blank boot. There's an unused, like one of the many unused boot slots. Hello, chunk loading. Um, is this it? Yep. So fun fact. Um, these this force field. You can if you just sneak past it, it doesn't activate. And then I ended up setting up a thing. Welcome to the unofficial circle, Jack. Might take a seat. I never bothered to change these. Uh, but yeah. Uh, chamber of certain death. Do you? Is, are you guaranteed to die if you go in there? No. Is there? Literally, um, and the Joes with sticks. I was under the impression it was like just it, it's looking just like a, looking like it's just a maze, pretty much. And it's yeah, getting a bit get, dark. Yeah. You get to the right, 
bike bit, then um, it's a fairly short way if you just go through the. And there's just a load of. Kind of Joe's with sticks. Oh, All right. Well, I guess the right command to use here is unstick me. And we're back here. Uh. I don't know why that teleporter doesn't seem to quite work. The one up the top works fine, but yeah. Okay, do you want me to finish off the GL? Uh, 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 might as well have a clip of me looking at you guys. Just gonna need this to get me up on the stage. Or I could fly, but this is more fun. Uh... Yeah. So actually, the video is uh, done at 10 FPS just so that it can automatically catch up, but yeah. So yeah, do you just want me to finish off the GL stuff or ask any other questions? Ah, uh, or whatever. Or ask for some ideas on what can be done with uh, magnets. Actually, I've got a great idea. If I use this program, um, let's go... What it is? Write a document. Casual then, word. Uh, LibreOffice. Okay. Uh, Deja vu sounds bold. That should hopefully show up nicely. If not, let me know. Or I'll go mono, just in case I need to write code. Actually, what, do I, what fonts do I have? Uh, okay, source. that's show really well. Oh, I've got Gilsans. Let's just make that nice and big. That font. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, a bit of a delay, but yeah, it is that font. That they use for the keep calm and carry on marks in just about everywhere in in England. Yeah. You don't actually see them that often. But, uh, I could show you that um, thing that I use for the uh, um, special entrance around the uh, back backstage. Uh, so basically, it's a 3D program. I had this done in, um, I do, I had this done in Redstone earlier, but, um, then decided to compact it a bit and just use Test 3D for it. And I had char set, uh, wires set up quite nicely, but now it's, um, but now I've just, uh, use a Test 3D program to, yeah, uh, and then there's just the usual hidden door thing. Oh yeah, and uh, want to I can shove on a bit of some. Oh, I can shove on like bad apple just in case you want to see how far that's progressed, but. It hasn't progressed too far. It's just you don't have the uh, you don't have the weird block noise anymore because the algorithm that's used here is notably less shit. Well, let's measure the latency. Still better than Twitch.
Yeah, okay. I think at this point, uh, my time's almost nearly up, and the next panel is up. And uh, it's tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Currently happening. Zero. Oh, tomatoes and open GL and magnets. You forgot to say. Ma- you forgot to mention magnets. I, th- I think it's, it's more important with the uh, magnets because without the magnets, it wouldn't have been. Oh, we've got another fourteen hours to kill. Uh, was this? That's weird. Don't know why that's. Oh, wait, never mind. I accidentally opened the. T- I thought I thought the, the video had skipped backwards or something, which doesn't happen. But you know. What the hell is simply caterpillar? It looks it looks odd, but kind of cool. Um, you you are in creative mode. Pick block the drill heads, the main block, the front block. Okay, okay. just pick and hold it. And go in third person. It'll explain everything. All right. Are you thrilled? Am I? I'm in third person. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Are you thrilled? Now tell us. Here's a little bit of a thought experiment. What do the little white things on the drill head, the quote unquote drill heads, look like to you? Recycle symbols. Ah, dang. You're an ASIN. ASIN. Unascribed group. Unascribed said look like recycle symbols. Um, somebody else said something else I'm not going to say. And I said that I thought that they looked like broken dinner plates. Ah. Uh, yeah. Well, recycle symbols does kind of make sense because it's sort of like a cycle. Something. You'll be surprised. I There's a lot of things I do not agree with uh, ASIN on. Partly, um, de- well, you've got uh, DFPWM, and then you've got those chip tune records that, uh, I mean, mod playback's, yeah, and I mean, yeah. mod playback's great, but uh, I don't really like. I'm not really into his taste of music. I don't know. He likes his chip tunes and whatnot. Yeah, it's just the way. Whereas it is. I've it, I've made chip tunes for various things. Um, uh, there we go. Ah uh, yes, frames would be great. Uh, you know what else would be good? Um, Armor's Workshop. Oh, and Squake. Hmm. Actually, I wonder how much RAM I'm using right now. Ah uh, shit, how do you zoom... Is there an easy way to zoom text in an uh, LX terminal without actually opening up a new... thing? Oh, oh shit, I'm using a lot of uh, RAM right now. Um, oh wait, hang on, no, that's misleading. That's uh, that's just, it's using, using the hell out of the cache. I am still using a lot of RAM, though. Um, I can't see shit on that. Oh, that's probably why I'm using lots of RAM. I've got uh, Minecraft open, Firefox open, and uh, Star Office. No, um, not Star Office, um, LibreOffice. I have no idea. Sangar, are you actually awake? <laughs> what if you just, like, left your character in here? I have 8 gigs of RAM. Um, it, it, it's, it's enough. Uh, oh wait, apparently I've used about 350k of swap. Oh well, it's mostly enough. That's probably the best I can do with uh, respect to making the text bigger, and I can't really... Oh, hello, Falcrim. Hello. It... Do we want to have a rap battle in here or something? Yeah, so, uh, or do we want to screw around with more magnets, or I don't know. Is it just that this is like really late in the night for a lot of you guys and you can't like be mic'd or anything like that so there's not really much to 
Um, oh, X. It, it's, it's kind of finished, but kind of drifting. I don't really know. If you are, if you, uh, if, I think I might just call this a day, really.